Hello everyone, welcome to Unacademy Live, the CSIR Net channel of Unacademy and my name is Jagriti Sharma. So guys, I am here with you and we are going to discuss some very important points before you attempt your CSIR or let's say if you start your new session, okay, so you might call it a strategy video as well that I want to, you know, start with some points before getting all into the concept, okay. So there are some few points that we are going to discuss and I hope it will be helpful. So the first thing that I want to discuss is that know your examination, right? Know the examination that you are uh, sitting for. The first thing is know the marking system, right? How much you have to score. So there are 200 marks total and how much you have to score or let's say how much are you targeting. So if you target 140 to 150 marks, then only you are going to get closer to 110 or 120 marks, right? This is how it works because 100% nobody is going to get, right? So this is what you are going to do. You are going to first of all, uh, look at this syllabus and jot down the uh, points or let's say jot down the uh, topics that you are really good at and how much marks they carry. That is also very, very important. Okay. So approaching section A, section B and section C, how are we going to study for that? For section A, you don't have to worry at all. You just have to follow Christy Vergi sir on an academy and he's, you are going to be very regular in uh, solving aptitude questions. Okay. The second thing is section B and section C. So if you want to study uh, properly for any examination, let's say it is any subject, approach for concept building that is going to give you a edge on your subject okay and if the section c questions you are able to do definitely you will be able to do section b questions as well so go for concept building first of all and along with that side by side practice more questions so if you are uh, let's say targeting 110 to 120 marks then you must be able to divide it accordingly to section A, section B and section C. Usually what you can get is you can get a lot of marks is section C, you know, uh, one question is four marks. So you can get 60 to 80 marks very easily in section C. In section B, you can get uh, around 40 marks, okay? And in section A, if you are following uh, aptitude regularly, it's not big deal. You are, around, say you are going to get 20 marks over there as well, okay? So this is how you are going to strategize and first of all, plan that how much you want to score in every section, okay? Know every section also. The second thing is, know the easiest way to approach the study that we are going to do now what is the easiest way to approach that is the first thing where are you going to start so let's say talk about uh, selecting the units okay so i have always been good in organic and inorganic so i always uh, selected organic and inorganic first also organic first so it completely depends on you so in that particular subject you are going to select the topics that are also scoring that are also interesting to you both these things uh, both these factors have to be kept in mind okay so in inorganic it's coordination and organometallics that those are very important and are very scoring okay i have also made a video like two videos on the youtube channel itself about the uh, you know the score the mark analysis of each and every topic in inorganic and organic so you can visit my playlist in this uh, channel also the second thing is key uh, if you are starting with organic uh, which we are usually doing we are starting with organic and we are first approaching stereochemistry stereochemistry is not difficult it is just you just have to uh, have an imagination you will be able to do uh, it very easily okay so we are approaching stereochemistry first and then reaction mechanism then reactive intermediates and then name reactions and so on so the first thing that you have to study is reaction mechanism okay so these are little tips that if you are studying the subject yourself it, you will know by your, yourself okay you don't have to listen to me by studying the subject properly by noticing few things you will be able to understand how to crack this exam okay and the third thing is which is the very important one how to remember a lot of stuff so a lot of students ask me that how uh, to cope with a lot of syllabus how to remember let me be very honest with you 
that everyone who is able to remember was at your stage. Okay, हम लोग भी उस stage पे थे जब हमें कुछ समझ नहीं आता था and we were scared of all the name reactions. But how are we managing? Because we have organized our stuff. Okay, we have organized our notes that uh, let's say if I am talking about name reactions, I have hundred name reactions kept aside. Okay, if I am talking about reactive intermediates, I have let's say a lot of reactions. Uh, including the reactive intermediate so first of all organize your notes and you know take care of this that whenever you want to think about ki, okay I have to revise name reaction where do I go or which book uh, should I study so organize the topics and organize your notes or let's say if you don't want to make notes then organize at least the books and know that which chapter you are going to study from so that it is there in your mind and you are having a security ki chalo this is organized so the first thing is organize your notes the second thing is recall and after that revise what do i mean by that ki uh, usually when we are revising we are just opening the book and then we just start on uh, looking at the pages and sometimes it is boring okay why it is boring because we are doing passive revision we are not doing active revision okay let me tell you what is active revision that is let's say uh, if you are looking at the topic and first of all you are thinking that how much i already know in this so this is recalling if you already know a lot of stuff about that reaction you don't have to uh, you know go on revising everything you have saved your time and then you have also saved your interest okay so let's say if you are talking about aldol reaction the easiest one let's say so if you already know that enolate formation is there and uh, one of the carbonyl is working as a nucleophile the other is working as an electrophile okay <clears throat> so if you know this much you know half of this reaction now you just have to see the variation and you just have to practice questions okay so this is how you are going to do active revision first recall and then revise okay and uh, make sure that you revise a lot all right so this was one of the points now the last but not the least is solve a ton of questions so where are you going to get the questions from now the best thing is questions you are going to get from iit jam papers gate papers csi net papers okay all the previous year questions if you are able to solve it is going to be huge all right that's going to make a huge difference in your uh, you know confidence level in solving questions the other thing that i would suggest you like i have already made a video on what are the important books as well so you can just uh, download some of the pdfs i already say that 300 name reactions is very important by g jack lee claydon is very important okay but you don't have to study blindly that uh, a lot of students have been telling me ki claydon pura pad lenge to net qualify ho jayega aisa nahi hota hai guys you have to uh, study selectively i've already made a video on that as well check out in the playlist and yes the thing is where are you going to get new questions now when you are studying a chapter try to look at all the examples that the chapter is uh, you know discussing why because these examples are going to be asked as questions okay csir is not doing anything new they are taking the examples from the book and they are making them uh, as mcqs only okay they are just adding four possible options and that becomes a question okay and all of uh, these two all of the teachers and all the exam makers are doing the same thing it's just that they know about a lot of different books okay so if you know about the book if you create that habit of paying attention on the examples then you will also be able to do it by yourself okay so these were some of the points that how are you going to study what is the strategy know your exam know your units that you are going to select okay and also keep up the practice a lot of questions you have to solve and the last but not the least which i've already told you is organize organize a lot keep a clarity in your mind and that is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of energy all right so this was it guys a lot of discussion already so i hope i'll see you all in the class and we are also uh, starting a lot of new courses for the july uh, uh you know in the july for the uh, december 2020 examination so if you are interested you can definitely check out my profile a lot of uh, new courses new things are going to start and definitely if you want you can come to plus as well thank you so much i'll see you very very soon bye guys